It's Plug and Brandy from Arversity, a university for RVers. And today I'm going to update you on everything that's been going on with Arversity and what's to come. Thanks for joining. I have my coffee. It is 6 a.m., maybe 6.30. Take a side note and see if you saw the super cute shirt that I had on. Thor sent me this shirt because of a contest that I won and I think it's super cute. It took me forever to get it because of COVID and everything shutting down and the mail and me traveling, but I have it now and I love it. And they also gave me a hat somewhere in the RV I'll have to get, but I'll post some pictures on social. Thank you Thor for sending me this. I love it and I've been wearing it to bed a lot so super comfy excited to have another shirt because <laughs> who doesn't want a free shirt and who doesn't want an amazing shirt that goes with their rv which is my thor outlaw 37 rb toy hauler which we're in filming right now what's been going on inside this thor outlaw and where is this Thor outlaw? That's a great question. You know, we left Vegas. We went on a huge road trip leaving Alabama, headed to Vegas, and then COVID hit. So we headed back from Vegas to Alabama. I'm here on Logan Martin Lake in Alabama on a beautiful island called Paradise Island. So it's really an island in a lake. I haven't really planned my next road trip, but I've been thinking about it and trying to figure out how I can make it really meaningful. So I've done a lot of trips in this RV and I haven't really posted a whole bunch of them. As much as I travel, I don't get to post about it as much as I would like because because it takes a lot of time to edit these videos and put together all of your posts. I want to go on another road trip. I want it to be meaningful and I've been trying to think like what could we do to make it meaningful. So I have a friend, Chris Strub, that traveled to all 50 states in like 100 days and he even wrote a book about it. I think it's called 50 States in 100 Days. Really was inspired by that and then I've seen a lot of people just do really meaningful things and I'm thinking well how could I give back my time or my services or something that I could donate like maybe a way that I could use my RV or I don't know. I'm trying to come up with that so if you have ideas drop them below and I'll probably make like a road trip video pitching for maybe sponsors and brand ambassadors people that you know, want to get on board with this RV city thing. You have a way that you want to help or some way that you know I can help in one of the states. I'd really like to find some places that either I could boondock or hook up. So if you know of a place that I could travel along the way and stay, or maybe your house, I don't know, maybe your business. I've had some really cool connections when traveling. I'm just putting that out there. If that rings a bell, make sure and comments below this video. But I do want to plan a road trip, hopefully in the next coming months. It's not like I can't just pick up and go anytime I want because we're in an RV and we can do that. The renovations, if you've watched the RV renovations, we have this beautiful wall right here. And that's as far as we've made it. I started on the wall in the garage and then I didn't get to finish the garage. It got really hot in here for the summer. It gets so hot in here. So I put up this reflective stuff in all of my windows and I've been on the mission right now to just completely make my house not hot. Since I'm plugged up here at the RV park, I made a video about my cost. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link below this video to that. But I talked about the cost associated with RVing and one of the costs here being plugged up at the RV park, a monthly electric bill. So I pay my RV rent and then I pay an electric bill. And what I've noticed is that the electric bill is going up. I don't really like that. So I don't really want to spend more money if I don't have to, cause you know, there's other things to pay for like the RV itself. And if we want to travel somewhere, I've been struggling with that. And I hate the air conditioned noise. It makes so much noise, so loud. It's just not exactly always fun to RV in the summer cause you're struggling to keep the RV cool and the heat out. So right now it's a decent temperature, but in a couple hours from now, it'll be so hot that you can't really walk around or do anything without running the AC. And if the AC is on, I can't make these beautiful videos for you because it's so loud. When it's off, I'm dying of heat in here. Keeping the RV cool has been something that I'm struggling with and trying to figure out. That detoured from my garage renovations, minus the fact that I also am trying to get rid of these couches that I wear on. If you want them or you want to buy them, please let me know. 
two couches, they fold into a bed, and actually I think they make like a massive king size bed because they have a piece that goes in the middle. When my renovations got stopped, I've been doing not only the shades, but I've been putting curtains up in the RV. So I have curtains here in the garage, curtains in the front, closed windows. It is dark. When you go in my RV, it is super dark. I covered the skylights and the vents in every window in my RV. So if you go in there, it's like being in a dungeon. I do plan on doing some more renovations. I don't really know what I'm headed for next. Maybe the kitchen until I can get back in this garage because somehow this garage ends up being just a place for everything to be stored and not my office. RV life. You know, we got the boat. Well, let me just say the boat life is a lot of fun and I really like the boat, but Naveen is kind of really weird about the boat. He likes it to be super clean and I'm like, it's in a lake, a muddy lake and it's a white boat. I don't know how you expect to keep this thing clean. Every time it rains, even if we put a boat cover on the boat, water still gets in the boat and I've been scooping the water out, like throwing it and trying to get rid of the water. And then I saw this thing on TV. I think it was called a Terra pump or something along that lines. Like a water pump has been a lifesaver. So not only do I use it for the boat, I use it for a lot of things in the RV. So I'm thinking about getting another one, but it's really cool. I'll put a link to it below this video. It has saved our life for the boat. We put the cover on the boat. We take the cover off the boat. We have to drag the battery to the boat and put the motor on the boat. We had issues with the motor mount fitting the boat. And if you don't know, the boat is like a blow up boat and it is super cute because it has a little canopy on it, but it's a lot of work. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to drag the boat in and out of the water. And we've literally only got to go on the boat maybe five or six times in the last month and a half, two months that we've had it. Don't get me started on that one. It's just a lot that I've been doing. So I have some tips coming out. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel if you're not. And hit the bell icon somewhere around this video so you're notified each and every time I publish. Went to NASCAR. That was kind of fun. If you didn't know... I may not have mentioned this, but... This island that I'm on is in probably one of the most famous places in NASCAR, right down the street from the Talladega Speedway. And they just had their first race back with people from COVID. And it was really cool because this place holds, I think, like 80,000 people plus. There was only less than 5,000 people that were probably even there. It was really, really empty. An awesome experience. And Naveen's first time going, so it was really interesting. I'm from the country, so I grew up with all of the racing. We did go-kart racing when I was younger and car racing, so I've always been around it. Yeah, we were there during all of the you know, controversy during the NASCAR controversy. And they're like, hey, the FBI is coming out because of the Bubba Wallace stuff. Talladega Speedway, NASCAR, really fun. What else did I put in my notebook here? Reading comments, replying to your comments, making videos to answer your comments. I do read your comments. Whether they're good or bad, I read your comments. Whether they're positive or negative, I read your comments and I usually reply to all of them. Thank you for your comments. I love your comments. I love to hear your feedback and your thoughts and I even love to put you in my videos. So make sure you drop your comments below this video for the things that I'm thinking about, things that have worked for you, maybe in your RV, ideas that you have for new videos. I do love to read them and reply back as fast as these little fingers can type. And sometimes I'm actually trying to do other things than just post videos on YouTube, you know? To actually live in the RV because this is my house and my office and everything. Welcome you into my home and my RV and that's my life. So you get to be all parts of it. All the time. You know, some of it's constructive criticism. Sometimes I don't know if people understand what you come off like when you make your comments. You're welcome for coming into my RV life. So thank you, I forgive you. That's really all I can say about that and God bless your little life. I've been trying to get maybe a video editor and a videographer to help with these videos because as much as I love making YouTube videos, editing them is not that much fun. If you've ever watched and edited a YouTube video, you might know that for every minute of recorded video, that you see, it probably takes about an hour to edit the video. So if this is like a five minute video, it probably took like five hours to edit it. I try to skip along and not take that long to edit my videos. I've been doing it for a minute, but it's a lot of work. And as much as I want to share with you, I can't share with you as much as I want because I'm the only person recording the videos and editing them. That costs money. Which is why it's great that you watch these videos and subscribe because it does generate a little bit of income if you watch my YouTube videos. Cause if you didn't know, I just hit my thousand subscribers and got welcomed into the YouTube Partner Program. Hiring is stressful and I've been trying to find somebody that really understands the RV life that can grasp my brand in the video. If you are a video editor or videographer and really understand RVs, especially if you're in the Alabama, the AL area. Holla at your girl. 
but I am working on ways to cut down on video recording and video editing and how I can get faster at it. The only other thing I can think about that I really want right now is a puppy. I've been missing my dog Francesca and Dutchie and if you didn't know I started RVing and I had my dogs with me and then both of my dogs passed away in like one year. So it's really tragic and just hard. I just haven't really been in a place to be able to get another dog yet because I cry like every time I see them. I really want a puppy really bad. And I looked at adopting and adopting has been crazy. I didn't realize how much goes into adopting dogs. But I really want a Chinese Crested. I don't know if you've ever heard of that super cute dog. I told you about my Thor shirt that I got. The only other thing that's been going on is website renovations, online renovations, course renovations, so much going on. With the website, it's me and me only that's been doing the website. I have been trying to keep it updated and really put a lot of my content on there to make it really RV friendly. And then I have the app, if you haven't downloaded it, on your phone that you can get. So I've been working on updating the Rversity app. I have it on Android and the iPhone. There's been some weird issues with the login process. You have to go back into the code and do some stuff to fix it. So I'm trying to figure out what's up with the login process. People can get into the app. It's just there's like this tweak that needs to be made in the beginning that I'm trying to figure out. I have my course in beta, my Reversity course that's in beta that I'm trying to get updated and put a lot of useful content in it. So if you haven't joined that and you'd like to join and be in my beta, I'd really love to have you because I really want your feedback. And if you're trying to get into RVing or you're new to RVing or maybe even doing it doing it for a while, you probably have some really good feedback and you probably benefit from it a lot. So I'll put a link to that where you could join Arversity, the course, down below the video. And last but not least, I am hoping to get a book out. I'm still debating on how I want to do this book. I've launched a book before and wrote a book called Brand Like a Boss on Amazon. It had no page numbers. It wasn't as advanced in the creation process as far as Amazon. Now they have a lot more tools involved. Maybe doing the book wouldn't be a bad idea, but I was going to launch the Arversity book, kind of like RVing for dummies. So there's a little bit more involved. It's not just me spitting out content. It's like people probably want to see pictures and things that I'm talking about just kind of like making these videos it's more instructional other than that i'm thinking that's like all of the things in my notebook and this is a pretty cool notebook here i got it to match the rv and i think it's really cool so i'll put a link to that below this video just a little disclaimer here if you ever purchase things like if you click my link and buy these items or anything else within that 24 hours and put it in your cart i get like a teeny eeny any little commission sometimes if amazon actually gives me credit for it i'm still debating on that you know if you think about purchasing something from amazon always hit up the links below this video and that's where you'll find my links and it helps me earn a little income on top of you watching this video other than trying to weatherproof the rv from all of the heat boat life and running around to nascar races and making videos for you and trying to update our varsity that's really all that's been going on in my rv life because we haven't really gone anywhere i figure it's kind of crazy this summer planning that next road trip i want to hear your comments your feedback what is going on in your life and what do you want to see going on in mine what do you want to know about posted several educational tutorial videos but i get a lot of people that say hey i'd really like to see like some more vlogs or updates about your rv life so you're welcome for this video on that note i'm Logan brandy this is our varsity university for rvers and if you want to learn how to rv like a pro i'll teach you everything i know just head over to rversity.com and you can join subscribe see all the fun stuff going on over there all the stuff i mentioned in this video i'll put links to below this video i try to get everything in there if you're not checking the descriptions that's where the goodies are at other than that it's super early i'm gonna go probably have another cup of coffee breakfast take a shower and try to look more presentable for the rest of the day which i don't know why because we're probably not gonna see anybody we're just here in the rv <laughs> but it's raining and i don't know how much time i'll have to make videos so i did this early in the morning and figured hey we're gonna go in here we're gonna edit this and then i'm gonna see you on social here in a little bit and read all your comments and have so much fun. I'm working on getting my new videos out. Like this video below and let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon somewhere around this video. Until the next time, drop your comments below. Check the links below this video. Thank you for watching. And subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.
It is so early right now. 